toes point. Opposite elbow to touch that knee. Hello and welcome to my day in the life video. So I thought I would film a day in the life showing you what I get up to on a normal day. Obviously all my days look a little bit different, um, but I thought I would show you what I've got going on today. I honestly look like a state right now. Um, my eyelashes are just all over the place. My face looks really spotty, my hair's in like a giant bun and I look like crap but welcome to the video. Um, and now I'm just about to whiten my teeth and do a quick clean downstairs. So today's video is actually sponsored by Whitewood Style, which is a brand that I have loved for such a long time. You guys know I love having white teeth. And over the course of like, I'd say the past year, I've noticed that my teeth are kind of getting a little bit discolored. I had invisible braces that definitely discolored my teeth. As you can see, they're not like the white that they usually are they definitely have like a yellow tint which i do not want <laughs> i want to get rid of that thanos is like begging for attention there are so many reasons that i like white with style the main one being is that it's really effective you can get it for really, really cheap when you use my code and also it doesn't cause sensitivity pretty much every other teeth whitening brand i have ever used has caused really bad sensitivity on my front teeth at the bottom like really really bad like the wind when i was breathing it would hurt like that's how sensitive they were it's also gluten-free, BPA-free, vegan-friendly, cruelty-free, and it can get your teeth, hold on, seven shades whiter in one go. Can you believe that? Can you actually believe that? Okay, so this usually costs $269.99, okay? Decent price. At-home teeth whitening, really effective. You get loads of uses out of it. This is 10 treatments of whitening, so I feel like that's a really reasonable price um, because with other whitening kits, you get like four treatments per tube this is 10. if you use my code victoria u you get it for 26.99 you are welcome you are welcome and you can literally the results with me right now in like two minutes so let's do it the reason i want to do this now is because what i usually do is i just pop this in in the morning while i like tidy up and then i'll hop in the shower like get dressed and stuff while i leave it in because it says you can leave it in for up to 30 minutes which is what i usually do because i like to leave it in as long as i can to get my teeth as white as i can so you guys know i had my tarte makeup palette is So I have just finished doing my makeup and getting dressed. This is the dress I'm wearing. It is from Shein. I really like it. And I just took the teeth whitening thingies out and my teeth actually look really white. Can you see that? They look like really, really white compared to how they looked, compared to how they looked like just. The only place where there's like a tiny bit of discoloration is like there because my teeth are so crooked. You see? But other than that, they look so white. I was just like, I just walked into the bathroom and I was like looking at my teeth because they look so white. So yeah, I love that stuff. If you want to go check it out, the link will be in the description. It's like so cheap when you use my code. So it's definitely worth it. And it works so much better than any other at home teeth whitening brand I've ever used. Like it's really strong stuff. So it really will whiten your teeth. It'll sort itself out in a minute. Okay, I'm ready. I've decided to throw my hair up into like a little clip thingy. Can you see? Just like a little... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's one of those days. I'm just having one of those days today where everything's going wrong. But I'm going to go downstairs and make myself some breakfast because I am hungry. And then I can't stop looking at my teeth. They look so nice and white. Wow, okay. So, yeah, I'm gonna go make myself some breakfast because I need food, and then let's get cracking with the day because I have a lot to do today. I'm having tomorrow off because I'm meeting a friend that I've never met before. <laughs> um, we've just spoken for ages online. She like messed around on Instagram and I'm going to meet her in Stroud for tomorrow, so I'm having the day off. Hey Lou, if you're watching. Don't know if you even watch my videos anymore, but yeah. 
I've got loads to do today because I'm having to do tomorrow's to-do list and today's to-do list in one go and I'm having a complete meltdown today. <laughs> you guys have not seen the behind the scenes. I've been having a serious breakdown. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna make my smoothie. I'm actually gonna show you guys how I do this because I always intend to and then never end up doing it. So, first I'm gonna add in some oat milk. I don't know any of the measurements for this, so I'm really sorry. Uh, I'm gonna say that much oat milk for now, that's fine. I'm gonna stick half a banana in, um, like a medium to large size banana. Then I'm gonna put all my vitamins in. So I add this one, which is a Cheeky Nutrition Iron Complex. Just pour that in there, like so. Then I use my St. Tropica hair vitamins that I've used for such a long time and they are really helping my hair. Stick those in, like so. Then I'm gonna use, <laughs> I'm losing the plot. Then I'm gonna use uh, the Matcha Reserve plant-based superfood. This is cocoa powder. Um, it's fine, like, you, you, it, won't, it won't really taste different. Use a little bit of it. Um, and this just helps to, it smells really good. This just helps to balance your mood, increases energy, fight stress, all that stuff. Then I'm adding some chia seeds, like half a tablespoon. Now I'm gonna add in some Greek yogurt. I am lactose intolerant, but Greek yogurt just changes smoothies. It makes them so much better. So I'm gonna add like two or three tablespoons of this. I don't mind putting like the spoon in with the stuff on because I only have this, I only have this yogurt in smoothies. So it doesn't really matter if I get like a chia seed in there or like some of my powder. Uh, now I'm gonna blend all that together. So I have like my little base. much spinach I guess actually yeah okay that's fine that much we'll do half of that then I'm gonna add in strawberries put a few in here then I'm gonna add in some of these like dark berries these are like black forest fruits stick those in then I'm going to add in some of this, which is a berry medley. And then I'm going to put in a load of honey just to add some sweetness to it. Probably like a tablespoon, I guess. And I'm going to blend that and see if it needs anything else. it will probably be a perfect fit because I usually manage to do it just right. There we go. Perfect fit and then I'm gonna wash this. Okay, I'm also gonna have a coffee. This is the Califia Mocha Cold Brew with almond milk. This is like a dairy-free um, cold brew coffee. It's really nice. Um, so I just have a little bit of that. Sometimes I'll have warm coffee, sometimes I'll have cold, but I've not seen this today, and I really recommend this. Let's go into the dining room, where I usually work. Um, I did have an office, but I just felt like it was too formal for me, and I just wasn't really getting on with it. Next to the kitchen as well, which, you know, is nice for snacks. Um, but I usually just sit on my little bench here, and if I have, like, employees over, we can sit around my dining table, because it sits, like... I'd say... Six to ten people pretty much can sit at this dining table and be comfortable. So, you know, it's pretty big. It's nice. Um, so, I'm going to take a look at my to-do list today. See what I have got going on. So, I use the app GoodNotes on my iPad to do my planning. I find it really easy. I made my own little planner with all the things that I, you know, want and need. So, I have a daily sheet, which looks like this. With all my to-dos and then I have weeklies that look like this. Um, so, 
Yeah, let's go. So I just made a bowl of cereal and a coffee and I've come upstairs to work just because it's a little cold downstairs and to be honest I usually work better when I'm in a more chilled out environment so I think I'm just gonna sit on my bed and get some work done. Um, I don't like doing this because it looks unproductive but it ends up being really productive for me at least so that is the plan for now. Um, I've done most of my outreach and I've pretty much replied to all my emails so I'm gonna get on with my to-do list a little bit more and I'll probably chat to you when I'm actually doing something interesting. It is two o'clock, I have finally finished all of my to-do list, I'm finally done. That has taken me, that has taken me so long. I wrote such a ginormous to-do list today, kind of crazy. Um, I've just called my sister because I need to pop and get some more eyelashes because, I don't know if you can tell, you definitely can. This eye has more eyelashes like here, so it's making my eyes look really wonky like I've had a stroke. Um, so I need to fix that. Uh, I can't decide if I want to wear this dress out. Um, I need to find my white shoes. Let me just show you what it looks like. This is the dress. I do really like it, but I just don't know if I want to wear it. I don't know if it's too dressy. You know what I mean? Like, is it too dressy to wear? I don't really know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I need to find my white shoes to go with it. I don't know where they are right now. Uh, but I need to go get some eyelashes and I'm going to get my sister to pop into the co-op to return some things for me because I have to return some stuff from ASOS. That's the only thing on my to-do list that I haven't done yet. So I'm going to get her to go in and do that. But I'm going to touch up my makeup really quickly because as you can see, I'm pretty shiny. I've got a hair on my face somewhere. But yeah, shiny face, need to sort my hair out and then I'm going in like 10 minutes to return some stuff and then we're gonna go to Mary Hill. Okay, so I'm just about to jump in the shower, hence fact, you know, 
we're doing a neck upward situation um i wasn't gonna have a bath and wash my hair but my fake tan is just like peeling off me i couldn't find my coco and eve fake tan and i had to use saint Tropez, and it just look at the lines on me you can see them everywhere my eczema's flared up on my armpit everything i just look gross so it needs to come off and it's not even been on a week so that just shows how good coco and eve is compared to saint Tropez. um so i'm gonna have a bath i'm gonna scrub it off my hair looks like a giant mess as well uh, because I think I put too much product in it and it's just like really stiff. If you met me for the first time and I turned up looking like this, what would you think? What would you think? Honestly, what would you think? So I'm gonna wash my hair. I mean, the curls look nice and the ends look nice. It's just the roots where I put loads of product in look really crispy. So I need to fix that. Um, so I'm gonna jump in the bath, have a relaxing bath. Just chill for a little, because I've had a really bad day. I am doing my period on Saturday, and I have PMDD. So the week before my period, I really struggle mentally, like really badly, like to the level of like I'm suicidal. For most of my like week or two leading up to my period. Um, so yeah, not good. But I'm gonna jump in the bath, try and have a little bit of a chill, and yeah, cool. Did my little bath set up, have my iPad, my makeup remover, little eye patch thing, and then my sugar scrub that I made myself. So let's relax. So I'm at the shower, I look like a little rat, and I'm just gonna do a quick little clean up. It's not that messy, um, there are just a few bits and bobs that I need to tidy up. And then I'm gonna sit down and blow dry my hair because I have to do it when it's wet because I use the air app. So I need to just let it dry for a little bit first. Probably gonna make a coffee because I'm a psychopath that drinks coffee before bed. Don't know why I do it, but I just do. Okay, cool. My hair's brushed out a little bit. I'm gonna dry brush you guys know i love doing this it helps with so many things it helps with like circulation um your skin your heart like the way your body pumps blood around um it helps detoxify it helps to exfoliate it honestly helps with so much um and i've noticed like big difference in i've noticed a big difference in like the um water and salt retention within my body um, and also it's supposed to help with cellulite and stuff like that. I've not noticed that so far, but I don't really have much cellulite. So I feel like it'd be quite hard for me to notice because I feel like there's so little of it that um, there's not much to go away because I'm really lucky with how much I have. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to have like a really honest chat with you guys. I've been really struggling lately with like self-esteem, body image, the lot. It's really funny because as a teen, I was pretty confident in myself. Um, and as I've got older, I've got worse and worse and worse. Like literally with every year that goes past, I feel worse about myself and I have less <laughs> confidence than the year before. Um, and it's kind of crazy. I feel like I'm kind of going in reverse as like, a 13, 14, 15 year old, I had quite high self-esteem. Um, you know, I was happy with the way I looked predominantly. Um, I didn't really have a lot of issues. I struggled with an eating disorder when I was younger, but um, I think that was more, I don't think it started out as a disliking the way I look thing. I think it started out as a um like a control thing because my life has always been a little crazy um and stressful and out of my control in many ways um so yeah i don't think it stemmed from a dislike of the way that i looked but i've really noticed you can hear it in my voice i can't breathe <laughs> um I've really noticed that my self-esteem has just gone really like downhill. I didn't want to like cry about it or anything. Um, but in all honesty, I like hate myself. <laughs> um, like I just want to be completely like upfront here because I feel like I don't really talk about emotional stuff. 
I full on like hate the way I look, I hate how shy I am, I hate so many things about my personality. Like I know I'm a really good person, I know I'm a really good friend, and I know I'm like I know in my soul that I'm a good, nice, genuine person, so that doesn't bother me, but it's more things that I do that annoy me. Um like I'm not gonna say self-determination because if I want something I'll do it and that's been the same from a very young age. Um, I'm just using my toner. This is from Nip and Fab. It's the Renew Retinol Fix Toner in the Extreme. Um, it's really good. Really like it. Um, but yeah, it's not like how I am as a person because I'm kind and I'm not judgmental. And if someone is being judgmental or unkind, I I am the person to pull them up on it. I hate people judging others because you just don't know what's going on in their life and I never ever do it. Um, and I always try to uplift people wherever I can. Um, so yeah. But it's more like self-determination. Like if I want something I'll do it and I'll achieve it. But it's just kind of like with working out and stuff like that. I cannot make myself do it and I think it's just because... I've been trying to make myself work out for the wrong- I mean, okay, I work out almost every day, but it's like a quick 10-15 minute workout, which I just don't think is enough to keep yourself healthy. And like, I genuinely have a concern of keeping myself healthy. Like, my mom really struggles with her health, and after my mom, I'm pretty much the only person that the kids have, um, who they're close to, like that. So it really does concern me about my health and keep myself fit, not just for physical appearance, I want to keep myself fit for multiple reasons, but I just cannot make myself work out for an hour a day. I don't know what it is. Um, I just have this defense thing up against it. Um, I've been struggling with my eating at the minute. Um, I've also been getting a lot of hate though. Messages, accounts, emails, people talking about me online. I've been getting a lot of that recently, I guess it's because everyone's bored during lockdown so taking out on people or they're just feeling like kind of sad inside so taking out on people but I've had a lot of comments on my body and my appearance and my weight um and I think that's really affected me to be honest like the other day I got a, K a KFC um I've never struggled with like bulimia or anything like that the other day I got a KFC and I felt so bad about eating it that I literally almost made myself throw it back up. Like I sat there and I was like, you need to, you just need to throw it up. Like you need to throw it up. You shouldn't have eaten that. Like it's fast food. You shouldn't have eaten that. You shouldn't have eaten that. You shouldn't have eaten that. I was like, okay, <laughs> be fucking rational here. Um, and I really struggled not to do that. Um, so. Yeah, I'm really struggling at the minute, and I don't know if it's just a lockdown thing, or what it is. I don't know what it is. This week has been a really bad week for me. I've just felt really unmotivated and not myself, and I've kind of lost sight of my goals a little bit. Um, I don't know. I just had one of those weeks. I'm during my period, like I said, and my PMDD makes me suicide all the way for my period so maybe it's that but I don't know I feel like I've been struggling quite a lot recently especially with body image and stuff like that and I do seriously think I'm suffering with body dysmorphia because sometimes I look at a photo of myself and I'm like I don't look like that and I say to my friend like can you believe my face looks like this and they're like you don't look anything like that <laughs> like what? And I'll like take a photo of myself and I'll be like, I don't even look like that. It's really weird. And my friend's like, you look exactly like that. Like you, you look exactly like that. I don't know. I've just been really struggling at the minute and I thought maybe it would be best to just talk about it because maybe somebody else is feeling like that. Maybe I'm not the only one and maybe hearing somebody else talk about it would make you feel better. I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really talk about emotional things on my channel anymore because I don't know. I feel like when I open myself up on here, it just opens myself up to 
people being nasty to me. So you probably noticed that I kind of reclined in the past year with how much I share, just because it got a lot for me. Um, so yeah, and I also don't like talking about it as well because I feel like people that write on these like forums and stuff like love making people upset. I swear they like crave it. It's like their favorite thing to do if they know they're upsetting you. They're like little weirdos. They're like, oh my god, we're making her suicidal. Keep going. What can we do to make it worse? They're like like weird little rats that like get a piece of cheese and just keep coming for more. So I feel like if you let them know that they're getting to you, they just they like eggs them on to like maybe we can make her kill herself. Maybe we can actually do it. Um, so yeah, I'm very wary of how much I put on here. Because I feel like it just eggs them on to be nastier. Because, like, you know, that's why you should never cry in front of a bully. You should always just act like you don't give a fuck. And they'll leave you alone eventually because you're not entertaining enough for them. Um, so, yeah, that's another reason why I don't really like to open up on here. Just because I can't be bothered with, you know them being egged on anymore because trust me they don't need it um so yeah you definitely don't need to throw the dog a bone <laughs> they already have enough um but yeah i find it hard to talk about emotions anyway i'm not like, a really emotional person um i don't really cry about things or you know i just kind of deal with things and move on um so yeah but i have been struggling with that if any of you have been struggling with it over lockdown, maybe it's kind of, you know, opened a door for it, maybe um, allowed it to come in because I haven't felt like this before. This is probably the lowest I've felt. Yeah, I don't even know if anyone knows what I'm going on about. I'm just going to shut up and dry my hair because I'm not the emotional type. I'm the shut up and get on with it type, so I better stop behaving like it. Okay, I'm gonna get on with this blow dry. I'm gonna time lapse what I'm doing because you guys, if you're gonna see how I do my hair, it will be in the Dyson video. I definitely don't wanna go through it again because it is so long to show you what I do. Um, but yeah, let's do it. Okay, I finally finished doing my hair, as you can see. I'm just about to put my fake tan on, so I think I'm gonna end this video here because as soon as I've done this, I'm gonna get into bed. It's really late, I'm really, really tired. Um, I sleep for like six hours a night, and then I usually am either doing something, like my hair and tanning and stuff, or if I'm not doing this, I would be in bed working until like midnight, so <laughs> I get very minimal sleep, and then very busy days, so I really enjoy my sleep. Um, yeah, I can't wait to get into bed, I'm really tired. I don't know if you can tell, like big bags underneath my eyes. Um, and I've got a really busy day tomorrow as well, so I'm going to get my tan on, sort that out, so I'm all fresh and nice for the weekend. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this little day in the life. I hope you found it insightful, interesting, <laughs> I don't know. I've had a pretty busy day. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to White With Style for working with me. My teeth actually look so white. Isn't that crazy? My teeth like match the wall, which is awesome, but... Yeah, I'm gonna go to bed now. I am so tired and I'll see you soon with a new video. Bye.